Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna try and attempt to spend the day with me, a day in the life of a mom. Uh, I just, the reason I'm doing it uh, is just because I just, I know it, no. Prepare to fail, fail to prepare. Don't, that's not what I'm trying to get across actually, I was gonna say, the negative energy I'm putting out is gonna, it's gonna make this look bad. But I'm just thinking, it's just great that I will, oh, no, don't say it. What I wanna say is, oh, if I could do a speech bubble, I'll probably get to the end of the day and be like, damn it, I didn't freaking vlog because just like life gets in the way, baby gets in the way, and then you just realize that you haven't picked up the camera. But the thing I can't get my head around at the moment is how I managed to do it for TikTok. And I feel like with TikTok, I do like even more snippets. I guess these are longer chunks. Anyways, welcome back guys. I know I look like Hagrid right now. I'm about to straighten my hair, but good morning. I don't do this every morning. I probably will do a shot every time I say I don't do this every morning, but I am up nice and early before the rest of the house. I learned that from Rochelle Humes. I saw that she did a story once and someone said to her the best way you can get things done as a mum is you need to wake up before the rest of the house however the difference between myself and Roche is that she like wakes up at five but then she's got older kids and I know like as they get a little bit older I'm still in the new well I'm not in the newborn phase Ocean is over eight weeks now so she's technically not a newborn now but obviously she's still a very fresh baby and she still does sleep a fair bit on and off obviously there's a lot of wake windows but at the moment which i'll explain whilst i'm doing my hair for a little bit is she i caused a little bit of a stir on tiktok not a little bit of a stir but i did a video i'll put it on the screen and i said things <laughs> let's see how much i can get done before the baby wakes and i don't think i got that much done like to be honest i probably should have put a clip over the top of the last bit because I was blow drying my hair and it probably looked like I managed to do like all my hair. I actually didn't. I turned the hairdryer on and then she started crying. Not from the hairdryer, it was just coincidental obviously because yeah, when it gets to me pampering myself, she had to wake. And then when I brought her in on the clip, my hair was clipped up so it might have looked like my hair was done. I did not have time to do my hair. So essentially I woke up, I had a shower. Yes, granted I washed my hair. Uh, I went upstairs and I didn't do a deep clean. <laughs> Look at me, literally, did whole disclaimer. But basically, what I'm trying to say is, if I woke up at silly o'clock, I probably could get a lot done. But I wake up with... It's not even that. She naps a lot at the moment. Like, she's already been awake once today. What's the time now? It's 8.30. So it's not even that early in the grand scheme of things. Mums are probably watching this like... <laughs> not early i know i'm fully aware it's not early it's pretty early for me i mean i woke up at half seven today because i've just i just want to get things done and then i had this in mind i've got a little bit of instagram work to be doing and then we've got a baby class at 11 which i'll get to so i know i've got time frames to be working with oh god i really am just vomiting everything out at the moment but i'm offloading what was i saying so she's already been awake. That is what I'm trying to get across in my TikTok. She had already been awake. I fed her and then, smart mom, I feed her and then as soon as I put her down, I sprint, like just now. Well, to be honest, Cass is in there with her. So if she wakes, we actually have some time because she was with her daddy. And that was another thing. I filmed this one clip of like, I panned round and it was he was asleep too and there was a few people like why is he asleep and you're doing all that and i jokingly said well i wouldn't have anything to tiktok if he done it or would i which is true but no the way it works is we actually have a new routine wow shall i make the whole vlog just sitting here i should have just done a get ready with me and just done like a catch up but i need to actually be doing my hair at the same time because time is ticking on and i've got a lot to be doing but um yeah, we've been trialing out a new little routine. I think routine is the key to success with the baby. Not that we really have one 
day wise but i feel like we kind of needed to crack down on one night wise ish because she has fallen into her own little sleep schedule i don't know if this is common for babies but ocean likes to sleep in like three hour bursts i mean the first time we put her down she does the longest stretch throughout the night as in the other night well, she was so tired because she'd barely napped all day because we were really busy and she's very nosy baby but she i put her down at 11 which again might sound really late for a baby i'll get to that in a second but everyone's different to remember that and we're trying to figure out as much as the other person is and we'll get there but we have to do at the moment what works best for us and what means we get the most sleep so we kind of put it down around 11 which is around the time i go to sleep uh kirsten's fall asleep after me he watches like podcasts watches listens to a podcast to go to bed so he stays up a little bit later and the other night I put her down and she slept for four and a half hours before she woke up which is amazing that is her longest stretch of sleep and i did actually wake up before that and i was like looking at her like are you okay we're we okay we're we good because i'm just in the my body clock is now just three hours three hours and do you know what i actually don't think it's that bad don't get me wrong i miss having a full night's sleep but i think i'm just so used to it like i said my body clock is in tune with it now however now we've got that like, bottles going on and stuff with her dairy intolerance formula Cass can get involved a little bit more when i was breastfeeding just me obviously it was just all on me so obviously i want him to be involved he wants to be involved and i just think it's nice for him to bottle feed her as well so we were kind of just like alternating a couple times in the three hour slots that she wakes up but <laughs> i'm a very light sleeper when he was waking up i was awake so it was just like defeating the object we were both awake and i was like i might as well just be doing these feeds because you can see through i can't so we've got a new little thing we do which is i do the night feeds and then when she wakes up at seven this is the only day we've not done it really today because like i said i've got things i want to be doing when she wakes up at seven she seems to be a little bit more fussy around like when it's light out so through the night she's in her deepest sleep and she can go straight back down as soon as i fed her around that seven o'clock mark she's like kind of in like active sleep mode which is where like babies are kind of like making noises not in a really deep sleep and just easily woken basically so Cass takes her out the room and takes her into the lounge we're on different floors in the house I can't hear her and I can get a big burst of sleep and I'm not waking up and then he's on if she's waking up if she's feeding and I'm not gonna lie it's been great and I kind of sleep from like half six seven till around I could sleep till like 11 if I wanted to because he can he, he's really flexible with his job where he can go in and do like the afternoon and evening if he wants because he kind of manages his own hours so that's been working a charm but last night we went back to what we were doing before and he'd done a night feed because I said oh, I'm gonna get up early I've got some work to be doing but technically speaking he's still with her so if we could have we could have kind of kept it as it was but I just thought I'm not getting that a long stretch of sleep in the morning so seems fair if we both do a night feed so yeah that is me this clip is nine minutes long of me just telling you our routine but a lot of people ask me about her sleep and is it the right thing we're doing i don't know is it working for us at the moment yes kind of could i be getting more sleep probably i don't really know but again she's eight weeks so many people like family members that even my nan like my nan's raised four children and she's like you do not need a routine with her she's a baby like don't even think about that until she's like at least at least three four months i know that's only like a month away really but like no there's no point having her like a set strict bedtime at seven like it just wouldn't work for us right now like i said Cass is doing more evenings and stuff and i just I don't know it just doesn't work out but that's how it's going at the moment I'm gonna have to stop for a second because I need to delete some footage there's no storage on this camera 
and I'm gonna finish my hair but I will come back in a sec. <laughs> okay, hair is straight. Can't think properly until the mane is sorted. And I'm just putting some whey hair oil in. The um, little pump broke so I have to get it out in the worst way. Way too much on my hands. But I didn't even finish explaining. I'm so bad at just getting to the point. So, Ocean woke up about seven today. Oh, did I explain this? Let's just go again. We'll go again. She woke up about seven and then I just fed her. And then she's back down with daddy. And they're both napping now. I just peeked. They're both asleep. And then I had a shower, done my skincare. It would have been great if I could have included all that, but... <laughs> everything will just take so much longer at some point when i put this this stuff down to a tea bear with me i will i'm hoping we can churn out some videos like this and i'll have some cute my my goal is to implement the style of videos i do on tiktok over here more you know that like snappy the asmr kind of like click didn't skincare you know but i just i don't know why i just can't get my head around it on youtube at the moment because everything's lengthier i guess anyways i showered done my skincare went and made a coffee and chucked on this outfit which i just got in the post actually love this shade of gray sounds really silly but it's a really like perfect shade of like that marley gray it's from bow and tea they sent me the whole like gray set which has a zip jumper as well which is really nice and then I've sat down to get ready talk to you and do some work which I'm gonna do now I have some TikToks to do which are some brand deals so I'm gonna do that now and then I have some orders to pack up for 48 49 I won't go into it too much right now just because this clip is so long might speak about it a little bit later but it is the closing sale i think everything has gone but whilst everything's being packed up i will check stock and there might be the odd thing left so i'll leave a link down below just in case there is anything if the link's not there it means everything's gone but while Cass is home this morning he's actually coming to the baby class with us which will be nice which again, I'll speak all about this in a sec. Otherwise, this whole video is just gonna be me sat here. I'll speak to you guys in a little while. I can't tell you how into the Jonas Brothers I am. Their new album, I've not enjoyed an album this much in so long. It's literally on loop all day long. Um, so I've done my makeup. Last time I spoke to you, it was just hair, makeup's done. I've done my jobs for the day as in my social media jobs for the day and i'm quite organized like i said i'm gonna be packing up some orders i went and picked them all up yesterday from my storage unit and i left them at my nan so that they're ready to pack and i can just kind of separate being a mom <laughs> having the baby there and just getting some things done because if everything's in the same house i just won't get them done and i can't do it at the storage unit either because there's nowhere to plug in for the printer it's all a bit of a faff but i'm gonna go and pack up my orders and then yeah we'll just we'll just see how we go I was doing so well vlogging. I still am, but I left my camera at my nan's whilst I was doing some packing orders. Today's gone very smooth so far. Cass is about to ruin it because he had one job. One job, meet me at baby sensory class on time. And it starts in two minutes and he's not here yet. And they're walking. Stay calm. But yeah, it's been a very smooth day so far. So I packed some orders for about an hour. Obviously, this is kind of like a, this is a day with me, but I don't do this every day. But it's kind of more exciting if I show things when I'm busy. So then I went to the post office, dropped them all off, and I bought a drink. And I can't find the drink, so I think I left it on the side, which is just marvellous. So maybe this day isn't going that well. <laughs> and now I'm sitting, waiting, and this is our first baby group. I really wanted to get ocean in a class 
oh, that lady's running in too, so she's clearly running late. Yeah, found a baby group online. Haven't also seen anyone else going in with their partner either, just their baby, so yeah, just us. This is a zero to six month sensory class, and I thought she might be too young for a baby group, but turns out not because there's obviously zero to six month classes. She's only seen one other baby. She's seen Maya and, well, she's seen other kids, but like clo up close, we laid her and Maya together, which you would have seen in my vlog a couple weeks ago. And she did look really shocked to see another small human. <laughs> so this should be cute. I'll let you know how it goes. If I can film any little clips with just Ocean in it, I'll add them in. But obviously I don't want to get any other kids in the background. So we will see and I'll update you how it goes. And then after, I probably need to do more packing of orders because I've had my big sale. And I've got so many orders to do. So that is kind of going to be taking up my life for the next couple of days. I love it, how you touch feels. I love it, how you look at me. I've got Joel involved. Do you know someone said to me recently, why is Joel never in the vlogs? Joel's working. Joel just constantly works, to be honest. And I'm not going to lie to you. He got home from work and I said, will you please help me pack loads of orders? What we done? And here we are. We're dropping oh, about out of it. 100 orders. This is my second trip today of this many orders to the delivery place. And Nam's watching Ocean whilst we... Oh, goodbye. Ah. Whilst we drop these bags, and I still don't have my camera with me. I don't know where I left off last. It's been a couple of days. I think me and Joel were packing orders, and that night went on for a while. And now. We're in the middle of a English heat wave, aren't we? It's hot. It's really, really, really hot. It's currently about 30 degrees, which is lovely when you're fully equipped for it on holiday with aircon and a swimming pool. We're not, are we? She does not know what to think about the heat. But it means we get to put on all her little cute summery bits. This is so cute. I actually have this little playsuit that she's got on on rotation because it's one of the thinnest most comfortable items for her this is from the white company and it's just in the wash back on in the wash back on what what oh sorry 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 she wanted us to come back over didn't you should we tell everyone what we did last night we booked our holiday we are going to Corfu in two weeks and we are going to a little staycation this week as well, which I'll vlog, so that'll probably be the next video. Firstly, I put this vlog together last night just to see what's going on because I was just going to delete all the clips and be like, Let that is my toxic trait, actually. I have done that way too many times. You guys would have frequent vlogs if I wasn't like that. But I feel like the dedication I put into that first 10 minute clip of me explaining sleep, I just feel bad deleting that for her because she looked so dedicated in telling that story. Sid back last week. We are going to, I said it in the last clip, um, I keep forgetting, I get Devon and Dorset modeled up. We're going to Dorset today for a couple days. So I'm gonna vlog that and what can go wrong? Surely I can vlog that without messing up. And wait, what was the first thing? I'm going off on a tangent already. First thing I was going to say is I said in one of the first clips that Ocean done her longest stretch of sleep, which was like four hours. She done six hours last night, which was what well, I fully wasted. I ended up wasting. I was awake for most of it because we put her down at like quarter past seven. And eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah she woke up like one ish i fell asleep at 12 because i was just like making the most of her being asleep that's another toxic trait 
why can't I just sleep when she's asleep? I just, I'm like running around. Well, we are going away, so I was packing and everything. But, so she's done her longest stretch of sleep and we're going away. That's how I wanted to end this video. <laughs> and bless me, thinking this was gonna be like a day in the life, like I spend the day with me, what I get up to in a day. I don't do any of them things on a normal day that you just watch in this vlog. So this should be called spend a random things I don't do normally a day with me because that's what went on really. But anyways, up nice and early and just finishing the last bits, putting away some washing as always. We're gonna get on the road because it's still really hot, it's still heat waves. And yeah, it should be a nice couple of days. And then when I get home, it's my birthday. So there should be a few better videos coming up. I'm sorry for this. However, I don't know. You know, you know me, negative Nancy. I'm like, was this vlog good? <laughs> I feel like this vlog was not good, but anyways. Oh, also, if you bought anything for 49, thank you so much. All of it is gone. I think there's like three vests left. So I will leave the link in the description box if you want like one of their little vest tops. But I'm blown away. Also, I wanna shout out my brother. He has literally done it all for me. These clips that you've seen was the only time I was packing up orders and then he kind of took charge and he spent like the last three, four days doing it back to back. We've sent out so many hundreds, it's crazy. And sadly that is the end of 4849. I will say for now, um, but that will be like probably forever. <laughs> I know some people are sad, but I just, with being a mum now, I'm not gonna go into it because this video is way too long of me talking so much shit, I'll be honest. And I don't wanna chew your ear off. Honestly, I should just start a podcast called like The Unedited and just waffle and chew your ear off because I honestly talk so much. Anyway, just to wrap it up, thank you so much for supporting. I studied fashion at uni. I have a love for this kind of life, fashion, and I always wanted a clothing brand but I'll be honest, not that I'm a cop out. I'm not a cop out at all. Obviously I've just had a baby, but before I had her, I was getting the vibe. You'll know, cause if you watch my vlogs all the time, you'll remember I said, do I want to be doing this anymore? Should I give it one last shot? I had a big, big bump in the road last year where I teamed up with a company that was supposed to help me and they ended up stealing all of my money, which obviously was a massive setback, obviously, it was all the money in the brand that the brand had profited like all the basically all the sales ever made and i feel like i a can't really get over that and b my priority right now is ocean and if i had a clothing brand i'd want to give it 110 percent. i don't think it's fair to be trying to sell things to people that i haven't given my absolute all to so that's why it's the end of this chapter for now. I'm, I don't know how I feel in a year, two years, three years, but thank you so much for the love. It's been a lesson, it's been a lesson. But anyways, I wanna wrap this video here because we are heading off, like I said, and it's so hot and this video is so long. Thank you for watching, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Oh my God, I look so gross. That's the first time I looked in the viewfinder. My arms look quite tanned because all I do is go on long walks to get this girl to sleep. <laughs>